What would happen if you put pupils in charge of improving their schools? The Sorrel Foundation's Joined Up Design for Schools is an initiative that does just that. It explores how good design can improve the quality of life in schools by listening to the voices of the people who use the schools most, the pupils. All over the UK, schools became involved with the project. Pupils became the clients and were put in the driving seat, deciding on what needed improving in their own schools and briefing the designers who were matched with them. This programme will follow the process of joined up design for schools. The challenge, the brief, the conversation, the concept. In many cases, and in all six programmes in this series, there was a fifth stage, the follow-up. The job actually got done. In each participating school, client teams of students were challenged to identify a problem within their school that they would like solved. Mounts Bay is a comprehensive school in Penzance, Cornwall. The 12 to 14 year old client team wanted an attractive space where they could spend time during school breaks, an inspirational place where they could learn and create, and they wanted to be able to run and manage it themselves. Architect Finn Manassi was assigned to help them. The client team came up with a well-formed and ambitious brief. We are the Pupil Research Group and we were in charge of collecting information from pupils by producing a questionnaire. We asked what areas needed improvement and why and how it could be changed. When we asked pupils, a social area and outside learning zone was always wanted because we had nowhere nice to go in any sort of weather. The students wanted a new social area but were worried pupils wouldn't use it properly so the materials or furniture would need to be modern, hard wearing but also comfortable and warm. I'm a bit of a one for exploring ideas and seeing what emerges rather than necessarily saying we want one of those and working like we're going to work and finding a solution which is particular and which you had no idea quite what it was going to be like until we work, we work along and we find it in the end. The client team took Finn round the school to identify possible sites for the new building. That's like the whole wooded area, but I don't really like the idea of going in the wood because it's scary. It's a great site. <laughs> what do you call that building? It's a science block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd chill out. We'd chill dangerous. out on top of the science block. Oh. The client team was enthusiastic from the very beginning, so Finn found it easy to build up the conversation with them. This interaction between the designer and the client team is at the heart of joined up design for schools. Once I'd been asked about the different sites and the scale of the structure, it became clear that what they really wanted was a flexible space where they could do creative assemblies, group study, homework, but most importantly, that they could have a strong relationship to the outdoors. They could even show film in fine weather. And, in a way, that was the most complex and romantic part of the project. For inspiration, Finn took the students to the National Theatre in the South Bank Complex in London and to Anthony Gormley's studio. We've come to London to have a look at spaces and buildings. To look at the way different spaces are used. Giving Finn a brief to build a multi-purpose building which could house ICT and a, have a big room where we could do performances because we haven't got much at school. Can you see why why we've come to visit this place? It's sort of a new kind of building because it's sort of a studio as well as a workshop. Ah. So it's got two purposes. This was when the students really began to take ownership of the project. Stand, stand far back so you can imagine two of those. Probably up to that bottom of the door. The result of the collaboration between the client team and Finn is impressive. The creative barn, as the students call their final concept, has an internet cafe, a high ceilinged main space and a second floor gallery. Well, basically we just wanted a social area and something that could be like anything. 
And so we thought up an idea that can be anything, really, and we can use it for whatever we like. And it can be an amphitheatre, uh, just a social area for lunch times and break times. And then it's also got IT facilities. And, um, yeah, you can do anything in it. The client team now had a design concept that responded to their challenge and fitted their brief. Taking ownership of it, they then presented it to the assembled teachers and governors. We have been given a task to design something that we wanted, instead of something that teachers decide. Enable us to enjoy something and be able to say, I did this, I made this happen. Our school has a lot of spaces that aren't really being used, so we thought that we could design a building to be used by the students as well as the teachers. So we had a big classroom in the middle with two smaller classrooms at the sides. And if we wanted to, the fold-out doors on either ones fold out so we can have a big space for amphitheatres, for drama productions and assemblies. The outdoor classroom, there's a, we have a roof over for bad weather and also it can be pulled back for when it's nice weather because we're all hot in the classrooms so we feel like we're in an outdoor working space. In January 2006, the project was greenlit and the client team presented the details of their plan to representatives of Cornwall County Council. And to get a sense of the scale of the building on site, Finn and the client team marked out the plan full size. We've just done this bit and now we've got to do this bit. The council responded positively and agreed to match fund the project together with the DFES. It's interesting now that um, the students can see the way that the building looks because you can start to visualise it as soon as you start to mark it out on the grass. And uh, a lot of the students were saying how exciting it was and how interesting it is and how, how much bigger it is in real life than the little models that they've seen up until now. Does it look about the right size? Yeah. 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 We've learnt about the process used in designing and getting from the design off, off the paper into real life. At the beginning we were unsure whether it was actually going to be built or not because it's quite expensive, but um, it actually is, which is really good. It's really exciting to be a part of um, something this big. Now that the project's realised, we've got the green light, we're going on site in the summer. It's thrilling, it's a benchmark really, and it's a first for me, it's a first for school, and I think there's going to be more. Not just for me, but for all sorts of schools in all sorts of places. What did everyone in the project take away with them? I think throughout the project, the, there's so many things that we've learnt and input into the project, but I'd have to be, I think the best one would have to be confidence. I think I've done something for the school. I feel as if I've made a difference for the school. And I've actually got quite into being, like, I quite like to be an architect when I'm older. This project has allowed us to take control of the situation and really use our creative side a lot more. They now clearly see themselves as people of worth who are going to go out there and do something in the world. And I think that everyone on the project, to a person, has been uh, influenced in this way. And it's just fantastic. It's what we're about in education. What I'm about is just wonderful. I can honestly say they've been the best client I've ever had and that's irrespective of age. And if all clients were like this, we'd have very different results. Building is due to commence in July 2006. The client team will be consulted at every stage of the process. I've learned to be a lot more positive with my ideas and be a lot more confident um, with other students and putting my ideas forward for the project.